ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഫിസിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് അവർ ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ആൻഡ് ചാർജസ് സോ ഇൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് അവർ ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ വുട്ട് ഇസ് മെൻ ബൈ ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ എനർജി പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ടെൽ ദാറ്റ് വി ലേൺ so there we learned about the electrostatic potential of a point charge as v equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r this is what we learned isn't it so here electrostatic potential due to a system of charges what will be the electrostatic potential due to a system of charges or due to a group of charges if a group of charges are there what will be the how we found out the electric field and the electric force same way here also here yeah, q1 q2 q3 like that n number of charges are there then we can find out the total potential as sum of the potential due to each charge that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 by r1 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 divided by r2 plus etc plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 qn divided by rn okay clear this is how we are finding out the electrostatic potential due to a group of charges so all the potentials we will find out and just add it it's a scale potential is a scalar quantity we know what is the unit of this potential volt definition of volt also last class we learned right so clear right next we are going to find out what will be the electric potential due to a dipole electric potential electric potential due to a dipole okay so how we can find out the electric potential of a dipole okay for that i am considering a point charge see minus q one charge and here it is another charge plus q separated by the distance 2a it is act dipole will be acting in this direction minus q to plus q right so this is a dipole i am considering a point p here we are going to find out the electric potential at the point p so uh, from minus q it is at a distance r1 so it is acting at a distance r1 and plus q it is acting at distance r2 now our aim is to find out the electric potential due to this dipole v equals v due to this plus q, minus q i am considering it as v1 v1 equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r1 and v2 equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r2 so v1 plus v2 total potential will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r1 see this is minus q q by minus q by r1 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r2 therefore 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is outside that is q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 now we are going to find out the value of r1 and r2 for that i am considering this perpendicular line okay so here this angle is this is making an angle theta okay this is making an angle theta with respect to this distance minus q and plus q clear so then this will be 180 minus theta clear now first i am going to find out r1 so r1 equal 
here this is r1 this is a and this is r this angle is 180 minus theta but this angle is theta okay as per direction how we can find out so these two are the two one given two vectors right so tell me what is r1 r1 equals root of r square plus a square plus 2a r cos what is the angle between this vector and this vector theta because this vector is going in this direction and this vector is going in this direction right so here there we will be considering the vectors like this then only we are considering the parallelogram right so the same vector will be going r is going like this and a is going like this the angle is theta then only we will get the result and right so this is 2a r cos theta then what is r2 r2 will be equal to same way while we are considering this is r2 and this is a and this is r so we should consider the angle over here so r square plus a square plus 2a r cos 180 minus theta what is cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta root of r square plus a square minus 2a r cos theta okay here this is r1 this is r2 now we are going to find out r1 and r2 r1 square and r2 square now r1 square equals r square plus if i am finding out r1 square r square plus a square plus 2a r cos theta and this is r2 square equals r square plus a square minus 2a r cos theta now what is r1 from here r1 equals r square r1 square here i am taking r square outside so 1 plus a square by r square plus 2a divided by r cos theta and here we can write it as r2 square equals r square into 1 plus a square by r square minus 2a by r cos theta now you tell me what is 1 by r1 square 1 by r1 square equals everything become 1 by and taking the square root so we will get 1 by r1 equals 1 by r plus 1 plus a square by r square plus 2a by r cos theta the whole ratio minus half okay same way for r2 also we will write down r2 equals r2 and taking the reciprocal so 1 by r2 equals how we can write it see 1 by r into 1 plus a square by r square minus 2a by r cos theta the whole power minus whole power half now if we are going to apply one if we are applying one approximation see a is see r this distance r is very much greater than a if r is very much greater than a how this 1 by r1 will be 1 by we can avoid this term okay that is equal to 1 by r into 1 plus 2a by r cos theta to the 1 plus 2a by r cos theta the whole power half this one 1 plus x the whole power n 1 plus nx so 1 by r plus 1 plus 2a by r into n is 1 by x to cos theta so here we will get it as 1 by r into 1 plus 
a by r cos theta and this 1 by r2 in the same way we will get it as 1 by r into 1 minus a by r cos theta. This is negative sign, right? So here 1 plus. So these are the approximations. So first we this till here it is easy, right? Next is approximation only R1 and R2 we are finding out. Then this R1 square I am considering and A square by R square we are removing. How we are removing? We are considering an approximation A square by R square. As A, see R is very much greater than A. Then here we are applying the equation 1 plus x binomial expansion. 1 plus x the whole power n equals 1 plus nx plus n n into n minus 1 divided by 1 into 2 into x square. So that one last time also we last year also we did many places about this approximation. So you will be thorough I think. 1 plus nx. So that one you can apply and we are getting 1 plus a by r cos theta. Same way while we are applying here we will get 1 minus a by r cos theta. So here the rest of the things are I will write down here that is total potential V equals Q by 4 pi epsilon 0. What is 1 by R1? 1 by R into 1 plus A by R cos theta and this is minus 1 by R into 1 minus A by R cos theta. Okay. In this 1 by r is common in these two, right? So I can take it outside q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r into see here 1 plus a by r cos theta minus 1 plus a by r cos theta. So we will get it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 r 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q a cos theta divided by r into 1 more r is here right 2a by cos theta 2q by a by r cos theta so we will get it as 1 by 4 pi what is q into 2a is p p cos theta divided by r square so this is the formula to find out the potential of electric potential due to a dipole so i will explain you once more v equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 minus q by r1 and plus q by r1 now taking the sum of these two so we are getting it as q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 there we are considering the r1 square value and r2 square values we are finding out and there we are doing the approximation and we are getting the answer 1 by r equals 1 plus a by r cos theta and 1 by r equals 1 by r into 1 minus a by r cos theta. Now we are substituting this 1 by r1 and 1 by r2 values over here. Okay, while we are substituting the values over here, we will get it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 a q cos theta divided by r square to 2 q a that is p, p equals q into 2 a cos theta divided by r square. Now, now you will think, see here v equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p cos theta by r square, p is a vector quantity. But V yesterday we learned V is a scalar quantity. How is it possible? How we can represent it like that? So here V equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 P cos theta divided by R square. Okay. Now how we can represent this as a scalar quantity? So 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. I am multiplying with a unit vector R. Okay, so P dot R divided by R square cos theta. So here I am taking the approximation R is very much greater than A. Don't forget it. Okay, so P dot R cos theta. So it is a vector quantity. Okay, so P so cos theta is not required. P dot R. P dot R is P R cos theta. R is a unit vector. So I can consider it like that. P dot R. P dot R is P R cos theta R is 1 so we will get it as P cos theta. Clear? Now here 
uh, here some of the approximate some of the uh, physical significance you should understand usually when we are considering a point charge if i am considering a point charge the value of v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r right but in the case of a dipole what is v v equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p cos theta divided by r square that is here p v is inversely proportional to r but here v is inversely proportional to r square okay clear that one you should understand and one more thing see here f theta is 0 that means p and r are in the same direction p r p and r in the same direction means p also here and r also i am considering an axial line okay theta equals 0 uh, cos 0 is 1 so we will get it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by r square okay p and r r we are considering a point r here so yeah, this point the point as this is at a, the same line so if theta equals 180 degree if theta equals 180 degree means p and r are in the opposite direction p is acting in this direction that is this is minus q and this is plus q so p will be acting in this direction r is acting in this direction okay this side i am considering the point uh, the uh, the point which is at a distance r okay then what will be v v equals minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by r square and if both are perpendicular in the equatorial line if i am considering if theta equals 90 degree then what will be v v will be equal to 0 because cos 90 is 0 so in the equatorial line electric potential is not acting for the electric dipole okay clear so these are some of the uh, so this is also this is an important derivation only so please write down and study as i said you in the previous derivations i am telling here also please write down and study otherwise you won't understand and it won't be there in your mind that's a uh, so here now itself we covered many derivations okay previous chapter itself four five derivations were there and here also there are all the plane sheets uh, plane sheet spherical shell and the thin rod gauss law applications that and all very very important axial line equatorial line so many derivations are there please go through everything and this today this is the uh, yesterday also we learned v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r how we are finding out so this is another derivation please go through these derivations thoroughly please write down and study so today's homework is to write down two times this derivation okay so i think you are following the instructions and uh, if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye